Hello, I'm Lindsay Wiggins, the University of Florida Regional Livestock Extension Agent in Southwest Florida. The focus of this presentation is to acknowledge the importance of cow body condition and properly apply a score to your cattle and achieve greater productivity and ultimately higher profits. This is a two-part training, including an interactive mod module, giving you an opportunity to score cattle and understand what to look for when making these evaluations in your own pens. For additional information, you should also visit the following University of Florida websites, including the Range Cattle Research and Education Center site, the South Florida Beef Forage Program site, or the University of Florida Electronic Data Information Source. What is body condition score? This is placing a score or a number on the estimated amount of fat for your cows, usually on a scale of one to nine, with one being extremely thin, nine being extremely obese. It's important to note that this is an estimation of the amount of body fat and not necessarily body weight. Take a look at the three cows in the bottom of your screen with a body condition score of four, five, and six. These cows are similarly framed the only difference between those body condition scores is the amount of fat displayed on each one of their structures. The correlation between body condition score and reproductive performance is very important. Supplementation of cows makes very little sense if it does not positively affect performance in some manner. You don't just supplement for condition, right? I hope not. You want your supplementation practices to have a positive biological function for the cow. Body condition score at the time of calving is the most important to the reproductive efficiency and success of the cow. Let's look at some pregnancy rate numbers and put dollar signs to them. For somebody that's calving at a body condition score of four, you should expect about 64% of your herd to become pregnant. Now let's look at the ideal body condition score of five, and you should expect about 87% of your herd to become pregnant. And as we move up to a body condition score of six at calving, you will notice to it that they will expect 93% of their herd to become pregnant. Now we'll look at an example herd of 100 cows on ranch A and ranch B. Ranch A is going to calve at a body condition score of 5, achieving an 87% pregnancy rate. Ranch B will calve at a body condition score of 4, achieving only a 64% pregnancy rate. Both ranches will wean a 550 pound calf. Only Ranch A will wean 87 calves, and at $1.30 a pound, that will result in $62,205 of profit. Now let's take a look at Ranch B. Also weaning 550 pound calf, only 64 calves, also valued at $1.30 a pound, resulting in only $45,760. The difference between the two ranches is $16,445. But how much does the extra, do the extra calves cost you? How much does that additional supplementation cost to move those cows from a body condition score of four at calving to a body condition score of five at calving? Well, if we feed the molasses, we should expect to feed about four pounds of molasses daily for about 90 days to move from a body condition score of four to five. If you're feeding four pounds a day at 13 cents a pound for 90 days on 100 head, you should expect to pay $4,680. When we take that $4,680 bill away from Ranch A, they are still achieving a $57,525 profit and still greater than Ranch B. Most beef cattle herds are on a controlled breeding season and the time for which it takes for a cow to start cycling again after calving is highly affected by her body condition at calving. Here we'll look at cows calving at a body condition score of three to seven. Those cows calving at a body condition score of three take 89 days to return to estrus and start cycling again. 
most folks have a 90-day controlled breeding season. That cow is not going to have an opportunity to become bred while the bull is in the pasture. Now we'll look at the ideal body condition score of five at calving, and you'll notice that it only takes 59 days or approximately two months for that cow to resume estrus. And as we move up the scale on body condition score, look at number seven, you notice that it only takes about a month for that cow to resume estrus. Now we'll look at different periods within the breeding season to see what percent of the herd is cycling and then we'll attach dollars to the calf crop uniformity. If you're calving at a body condition score of four, within the first 20 days of your breeding season, only 42% of your herd is cycling. Within the first 40 days, only 56% are cycling. If we look at the ideal body condition score of a five, you will notice that more of your herd is cycling within the first 40 days. 80% of your herd will be cycling within those first 40 days and 90 within the first 60 days. Again, helping you to achieve a tighter calf crop uniformity. If we move up to body condition score of six at calving, you will notice that 98% of your herd will be calving within the first 40 days very important when you look at calf crop uniformity. Now we'll look at the effects of calving distribution and an example on ranch A and B, both with 80% pregnancy rates on 100 head. This will give you some validation for the importance of calf crop uniformity and the effects of body condition on calf crop uniformity. On ranch A, you have 20 born in September, 20 calves born in October, 20 in November, and 20 in December. On ranch B, you will notice that there are more calves born at the beginning of the calving season, 40 in September, 20 in October, 12 in November, and only eight in December. If only eight calves were born 60 days sooner, you would wind up with 720 more pounds of saleable beef for your ranch. But what if 12 calves were born 90 days sooner? That would result in 1,620 more pounds of saleable beef on your ranch. If we add those together, you should expect an additional $3,042 of an additional income based on that 100 head herd just by simply increasing body condition and giving those cows an opportunity to cycle while the bull is exposed. Thank you for your time and I hope this helps with your future body condition scoring endeavors and also with supplementation decisions. Feel free to contact myself or Dr. Moriel with any questions or your local county extension agent. Thank you.